Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I am High Lord Tamberlane, and these guys are the Golab. Now, the Golab are a bunch of genetically bred mute swordsmen that like to enhance their bodies with cybernetics and prosthetic parts for the Scarred faction from Cool Mini's Dark Age game. This is the set of re-sculpted Golab. They've been around since, I want to say, the very beginning of the game. And the dog is busy barking at the gardeners outside on the city street. But that's okay. We're going to take a quick look at these. You can see here, actually, these are resin models. That's kind of surprising. The original Golab, obviously, are metal. Much like most of the Dark Age line. You can see here he's got his little cybernetic prosthetic eyepiece, looking like Lord Dread or Globulus for your 1980s references. Sculpting quality is quite nice. I've had a couple of issues with some of the resin models I've had from Dark Age that just didn't want to go together and were just absolute complete crap. But thankfully that's not the case here. I'm not sure what... Okay, this, this looks like Flash and that's a hand here. I think this is the guy who's got his arms in a... Oh, no. I just realized this is the claw guy. You can see his claw hand here. Vaguely out of focus. Anyway. He's got, like, prosthetic robot claws. And then here's our other one. You can get him in quite a few pieces. Torso again with his cybernetic eye. These two pieces for the main body. For some reason I thought they had like clawed toes, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe that was one of the earlier models or one of the scarred tribal fathers I'm thinking of. Anyway, he's got a much longer sword. He's holding it in a two-handed stance, so that's going to be fun trying to get everything positioned correctly. Hopefully the shoulder pieces are keyed up nice and neat. And they both actually come on 50 millimeter bases. What's funny is, for a long time... The Dark Age models always had those deep dish pizza style bases that they liked. But thankfully, these don't. These are nice and flat, so that'll work better. I'm going to go hush the dog up. I'm going to put these together, and we'll be back when both of those are done. All right, we've got our Golabs built here. As you can see, they're big dudes. They're on 50 millimeter bases. They've got 20-sided dice behind them because they keep knocking over my six-sided dice, and... I have not glued them down yet because I want to be able to get in there and paint them. So, how do they compare in terms of size and models? Well, using our standard handy dandy Space Marine, who's trying to precariously not knock his friend over there. You can get a good look. Where is my Witch Hunter friend? Yeah, you go right in the middle. So like I said, these are big dudes. Outside of the cybernetic parts, and even then you might be able to get away with it, I could totally see these guys being some kind of like half-ogre type thing, especially if you're running like a steampunk fantasy, uh, what's the word for it, RPG campaign. They totally could fit in there. Obviously, if you're going to play Dark Ages, they're great units. They're just nasty in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and they're really nice sculpts. I gotta say, these are so much nicer than the originals. And the originals aren't bad, necessarily. They're a product of their time. I kept thinking to myself, looking at these models, you know, their swords look so small, but then you realize that the blade is almost as long as a human, and, well, size is relative, right? So, keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in these. I want to say they might have been in one of the repackaged starter boxes or faction boxes for the Scarred. I'm not 100%. I managed to grab this because the original owner misspelled the Golab's name. And they put an E at the end of Scarred, which obviously is not there if you play the game. So, be on the lookout for misspelled things on eBay because you can always find great deals that way. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying bye bye.